St. Louis football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Here's Trask. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. Throw left side, taken in by Slayton. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. Trask. Now a short one to Gesicki. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Trask again. Over the middle, that's caught by Claypool. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Trask. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Throwing on second and long. Trask. As this complete to Woods. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Setting to throw. Here's Trask. Catch made by Slayton. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. And his kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So in the end, they had the ball for ten plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive. But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, 10 play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Get a look at receiver Chris Godwin as this offense returns for their next drive. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. Especially with a touchdown. <laughs> yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Now what a first down pickup of eight. It's long and taken down just shy of the 40. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Back to throw. Here's Stroud, and Graham's got it. Complete. Look at the big man rumble, and all the way in for the touchdown. Jimmy Graham. 61 yards, and the Red Ribs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive.
impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Lux with the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Up the middle, Murray. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Wow, that ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. In motion left, Claypool. On first down, Murray. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. Well, I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. Trask now on second down. Now a short one to Gesicki. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll leave him with a third and two. Throwing, Trask, pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. Back to the ground game, here's Murray. He'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and six. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here. And we'll step aside. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Get a look at receiver Chris Godwin as this offense returns for their next drive. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Finds Gibbs on the check down. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. 
The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. And Stroud now to throw. A quick pass here to Godwin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Here's Stroud. And that's going to be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Here is third and five. Stroud will look to throw once more. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 85 catches for him on the year now. And the result there is a first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Stroud sets up the play action. Under pressure and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe mm. a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Stroud working out of the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will extend their lead even further. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick. <laughs> Other than the extra point, that's it. Seven yards there and a first down. And Trask going to get him to the line here as quickly as he can. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's complete to Slayton. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be second down. Trask now. Once again, he finds Slayton. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. That goes out wide to Murray. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Second down, Trask. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They go with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. On third down, Trask. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. They bring their punter out there now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Now, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. One more go for this offense in the first half. 
Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a very good first half out of the Ohio State man, C.J. Stroud. He got off to a hot start with two first quarter touchdown passes, threw another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on target throughout. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start up the 25-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start... He's got a man complete! Look at the big fella go. Touchdown! Mike Gesicki. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Snowhawks come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Point after, right down the middle. And this is back to an eight-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Stroud to the air on first and ten. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. This to Graham on the short pass. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Stroud. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A big play that time on the catch and run. 36 yards. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Sermon. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal.
And they'll go play action here with Stroud. Touchdown! A great play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Redwoods are able to add on to that lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football this way. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. That time, a six-play drive. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. That ball caught by Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Now Trask. And that one on the money to play through downfield. And they rattle off a big one. 47 yards. You can feel the effort all the way up here. He tried his best to get there. Didn't quite make it, but down around the two, three yard line. Got to love the effort and especially the big play that gave his offense a great opportunity. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw his trash. Chase Claypool, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Snowhawks are able to cut into that deficit. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Extra point right down the middle. And this is back to an eight-point game. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it was finished off by the Chase Claypool touchdown catch. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Now here's the Omaha offense getting set to go now. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And they'll run with Sermon to begin the drive. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Stroud. And Sutton hauls it in over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Ball start, offense. Ooh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Stroud off the play fake. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 
So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Up the middle they go. It's long, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. Automatic you heard the sideline erupting. The flags came out almost immediately. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Play action. Here's Stroud. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Again on second down, it's Stroud. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Again, it's Stroud. Complete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Now a second down throw for Trask. Now a short one to Gesicki. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Here's Trask. Can't get away, and he's taken down. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. From the gun, Trask. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing, Trask. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. And it's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to four. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. And they'll send out their punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. Now here's the Omaha offense getting set to go now. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? 
And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now, those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again? They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. Play action. Stroud now. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And he is caught. He's got room at the 30. And he's got it all the way down to the 12 yard line. It's a big play there on third down. 49 yards. But that last throw, Charles, puts him over 15,000 yards passing now for his career. And Brandon, they're not going to stop the game and give him the game ball here, but that's still a pretty impressive number, and he's got plenty of more good football ahead of him. Although I would say the team should give him a game ball after it's all over. On first down, here's Stroud. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Second and 10, here's Stroud. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. Well, when you start thinking of guys that are in the mix for Defensive Player of the Year, I think you use him as Exhibit A. Maybe he's not the leading guy right now, but he's at least on the periphery and deserves to be in the discussion. And because of that, he's looking at a game today where in order to make that big move and maybe become the guy, he needs multiple takeaways, multiple big plays, things that get our attention and reverberate for weeks to come. Uh, first down throw for Trask. Now a short one to Gesicki. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll make it second down. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count. And a five-yard penalty ensues. Ball start. Awesome. It's only a matter of inches at this point, but those inches, they can still make a difference when you're trying to get out of the end zone. Following the penalty, it's Murray. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Setting to throw, here's Trask. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Here's Murray, running right. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down point. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. 67 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They go with Murray again. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Trask. A quick throw there is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trask now. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. 
that feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. Omaha's offense back out for another series. They've got the ball in a great spot here, already inside the red zone following that fumble recovery. Following the fumble recovery, Stroud, he completes this to Sutton. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. after the fumble, but this defense trying to stand tall. They certainly are, and a lot of times after you pick up a fumble or get an interception, you have momentum on your side. You kind of walk through a defense and score. Not so fast, not in this case. Sermon. Touchdown! Just power of football there, down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Alonso looked to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it was Trey Sermon who polished it all off with a touchdown run. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. First down, Trask. This is swung out to Eklund. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A first down there on a pickup of 25. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back now here on EA Sports, as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. And he's going to go down. He sat back at the 24. That's Zach Harrison who forced his way in to drop him. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. It might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Trask to throw it. Right side, Claypool's got it. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Trask. And probably the wise decision there, no one open, he just throws it away. And that 
keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. So out comes the field goal team once more. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Omaha's offense back out for another series. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Stroud looking to throw. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Another catch for him. He's over the 250-yard mark now for the game, and he's got another first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Long. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll keep it on the ground. It's long, and he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Back to throw, here's Stroud. He'll find Sutton on the right side complete. Then he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Here's Stroud. He's got his target, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try the left side. Long. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Throwing now is Stroud. He finds his man complete. It's Holt. That'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. And it's caught. Touchdown. Jimmy Graham with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Redwoods look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. Lutz with the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Second and 10. Makes it second and 10 at the 21 yard line. Now 
to throw is Trask. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. This now a third and four. Now Trask. And this is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Here's Trask. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Trask again. This one is Slayton over the middle. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Throwing, Trask. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. They'll try and run with Murray. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shortened the line to gain. Latavius Murray unable to lower those shoulders and get the first. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. And here's the Omaha offense getting set to go now. But the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. On second down now, it's long. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll keep it on the ground. Long. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it, get the first down, close it out. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Stroud sets up the play action. And it's caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Quick throw by Stroud, complete out wide. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. This will wind up a loss on the play. And now what we have here, a third and goal. And Stroud now to throw. Got his tight end, that's complete. That's Graham. 
A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clipped him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Now, this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Trash throw there, holding by Claypool. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Setting to throw. Here's Trask. Open man. That's Gasicki down the field. Touchdown. Mike Gasicki with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Snowhawks are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere they forgot about the tight end spot and he's the one that burns him there to make this a three score game here Charles in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball partner because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time the tight end gets them. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Omaha's offense back out for another series. They're in control here as they start first and ten and appearing to have righted the ship following that two-game losing streak. Up the middle they go. It's long. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 77 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Right back to him on first down. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. From the 22 now, here's second down and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. It's long, and they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, long, and this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Stroud. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. So they were really trying to put the nail in the coffin there already with this lead here in the fourth, but they didn't get it. Guaranteed, 
it's not going to be a fun handshake in the postgame, right? <laughs> I, you just know that there's going to be some bad blood there. And I know if we go to the postgame press conferences, the, the winning coach, you know what he's going to say, why he did it? We need the points, okay? Because you never know at the end of the year if points are going to come into the tiebreaker if we're trying to get into the playoffs. That's always the standard justification. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner. And I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, I probably just want to put this one behind them. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. On third and one, here's Trask. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Again, it's Trask. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen. Under pressure, Trask, and down he goes. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed. So for Omaha, they do get the victory that pushes them over 500 for the season as they finish at 9-8. and eight. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better-than-average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for our visitors, this loss will mean they finish the season on the wrong side of 500 at 8-9. And, and they can take solace in the fact that this team never quit all the way to the end. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.